Thanks. All right, in this tutorial, I want to take you through uh, quite a specific uh, formula for a very specific kind of question. And if I show you an easy one to begin with, and I'm actually going to work my way backwards, and I'm, I'm sure it will make sense. I'll get you to do a little uh, exercise for me too uh, during this video. So let's say that we've got two prices here. We've got a higher price and we've got a lower price. And the difference or the gap between these two prices is uh, displayed by some type of percentage. So typical example, you've got a $5,000, I don't know, home theater system, and this week it's on special for 15% off. All right, to work out what this new price would be, we simply take $5,000 minus because we're getting a discount, minus 15%. Now on the calculator, that's a piece of cake. Just punch in 5,000, minus 15, press the percent button, and we'll have this new amount of 4,250. Okay, so the gap between the two is equivalent to 15% of, 15% of this number. Okay, so I want you to do a little exercise for me now. I want you to take this number and just add 15%. Now you might assume if you do that, that we're gonna end up going back to here again. So if you haven't got a calculator, please pause the video, grab a calculator, and let's see if we can go back to where we came from now. So we're gonna take, and I'm gonna start doing it now, so if you're doing it with me, fantastic. If not, feel free to pause the video. Uh, but if you've already done it, you've paused the video and you're back now, I'm gonna take 4250 plus 15%. And you probably ended up with the same amount that I did, $4,887.50. Whoa, hang on, what happened then? We took 15% off, we went to here, you add 15% back on, you'd expect just to go back to there, back to the 5,000. But when we add 15%, we're adding it to this number, and the gap is not 15% of this number, it's 15% based on this original number, so 15% of 5,000, not 15% of 4,250. All right, so let me set this up again and I'll show you how we need to do this. And if you haven't already seen the little video series that I put together based on ACES uh, 2019 Victoria Police Entrance Exam practice questions or practice exam there's 30 in the numerical reasoning section uh, have a look at those videos uh, I think it's question number 22 uh, has a question like this where what we've got is uh, an unknown amount here so let's say the original price of I don't know a fancy a fancy car and for this week only of course if you buy the fancy car you're going to receive a 15% discount. Okay, now if you decide to buy that car with the 15% discount, it's only going to cost you $42,500. All right, and the question might be, what was the original amount of the car, original price of the car before the 15% discount? Now, most people would say, oh, well, if I got a 15% discount, it'll just be plus 15%. But it's not plus 15% of this. It was actually minus 15% of whatever this number is that got us to here. Okay, so again, try and have a go at that. See if you can figure out what that amount is. Um, and once you've done that, you know, obviously come back and, and press play again. So if you want to hit the pause and have a crack at it, um, if you've got no idea, well then I'll just keep gabbling for another couple of seconds. So those people who have paused can come back now. All right, and let's continue on. So how do we get through this? All right, what we need to do, just think about a coin, I suppose. And this is a really ugly head on a coin with a big nose. We need to flip it over. Let's, let's flip the coin over here. We need to flip this scenario around. And by that I, I mean instead of taking 15%, uh, what we need to do is we flip that around. The opposite to that, I suppose, or the other side of that coin is going to be, uh, what's it going to be? 85%, 85%. Okay, another way to do it is say, you know, what is 100% minus this, this number? OK, 
can just to make sure I'm right. 100% minus 15% equals 85%. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to take this amount, 42,500, and we need to divide it by 85%. Okay, and when we do that, we end up with $5,000 or $50,000. Uh, oh, I think I punched the wrong, I didn't put enough, enough zeros in there. Let me just try that again. Uh, divided by 85%. Yeah, I missed the zero when I was punching it in. So I ended up with $5,000, $50,000, okay? So $50,000 was our original amount. All right, this will make sense as we start to go through a couple more examples. All right, so let's have how our original higher amount. Okay, we don't know the value of that, but what we do know is that we're getting a 22% discount on whatever this amount is we're getting a 22% discount and when we get that 22% discount the item whatever it is ends up costing us $1650 all right so if you received a blue widget for $1650 which was on discount at 22% what was the normal price prior to the discount all right so let's flip the coin over to the other side, so I can keep this easy for myself and just simply say, well, 100% minus 22% would be 100% minus 22% is going to give me 78%. Now, you wouldn't have to press the percent button. In fact, you probably wouldn't even need to do that. You'd work it out in your head, but 100 minus 22 is 78. So 78% is the flip side. Now, we just simply divide uh, this number by 78 so 1650 divided by 78 percent um, not just by 78 but by 78 um, percent all right so when i do that my original amount was 211538 okay 2115 dollars and 38 cents was the original amount but hey today we're having a special it's 22 percent off which means you'll only pay 1650 dollars all right, now this is important that we're, we're going from the new price up to the original amount. So what was the original amount? When we don't understand what this amount was, the original amount before the discount, that's when we need to use this little technique of flipping it over, getting this percentage, and multiplying the amount that we've got by that percentage. Okay, so it's actually pretty straightforward, um, but you've got to remember that formula. You've got to remember the steps to flip it over and then divide it by the new amount that you have. All right, let's do one more. I think we should have the hang of it then, and you can just practice with any old numbers you like. Let's take a... All right, let me, let me give you a bit of a worded question. So you live in uh, B-Town, and because you live in B-Town, the local council uh, gives everyone who lives in B-Town a 9% discount uh, on the purchase of their home. So come and live in B-Town, you'll get a 9% uh, discount off whatever you pay for the house. So you'll end up paying $286,000 to live in B-Town. Now the people in A-Town across the road here are really upset about that across the border because they don't get that 9% discount. So for exactly the same property, all things being equal, what would they pay across the border? Okay, in other words, what's the original amount here? So this is where we need to Flip the coin over, okay, so I would do 100 minus whatever this percentage is, 9, okay, obviously that's going to give us 91, so 91%. Now I simply take this number and I divide it by the 91%, so let me do that, 286000 divided by 91 and then press the percent button. All right, so the price that you would have to pay if you lived in a town will be 3142.85, and you'd have to pay the 71 cents as well. All right, so there you go. That's, uh, that's how we would work out. What was the original amount before we got this discount? Okay, because the 9% the discount to get this price is obviously based on that. Okay, so we can't simply just add it back on to go back up there because we'd be adding 9% to this amount and that wasn't the gap. The gap was 9% of this amount. Okay, 
So let's, let's do one more. You can do it in your own time and, and come back and, and check your workings um, once you've done it. All right, let's say that we had a, uh, an original price that we don't know for whatever the hell it's for. It doesn't really matter what it's for. What is this amount? Uh, we've got a 17.5% discount. Okay, that 17.5% discount meant that we ended up paying $201,000 four hundred and twenty six dollars for whatever the item was okay what was the original amount prior to getting a discount of 17.5 percent which led us to this what was the original amount prior to this discount have a crack at that and when you have uh, press play and we'll go through the answer together all right so we've got our final amount here and the first step we want to do now is to flip this percentage Okay, so so that I don't make a mistake, I'm going to start with 100 minus 17.5 equals. Okay, that's going to give me a, a new percentage to work with of 82.5%. Okay, so now I simply divide this number by 82.5%. So let me do that. 201426 divided by 82.5%. Okay, when I do that, I find my original amount. I might just change this color here to make it stand out. And let's get rid of that. So my original amount was 2441522 and 72 cents or 72 whatevers. All right, so we had 201426. Now we've got 244152. Now again, to test that and make sure you've done it right, make sure I've done it right, is we take that amount and we simply now give ourselves a little discount of 17.5%, 201.426, and that's the right answer. All right, so that's a good way to test to make sure that you've actually done the calculation correctly. But to finish now, when you're trying to find the original amount, you've got your discount amount in percentage, you know the final fee that you pay or the price you pay, etc. But when we don't know what the original amount is, we simply flip the coin on this percentage amount and then we divide the number that we have by that percentage amount to find the original number. All right, I hope you found that helpful. I'll see you in the next video.